Good afternoon and welcome once again to WebFG TV. With us today is Rob Booker, FX trader and author. Rob, thank you very much for joining us. It's good to be here. Okay. Some people say that you are the author of one of one of the most or if not the most downloaded ebook on FX, FX Strategy 10. Right. Why do you think it was most downloaded? What's the main premise of this book? All right, so about 14 years ago in the early days of retail FX trading, I wrote a premise or a manifesto just to okay. myself uh -huh. about some of the important things to remember as a beginning trader. Hmm. And I, I just gave it away for free to a few of my friends and then it was posted in a forum and then it was posted on a website. And I think at this point, it's probably been downloaded because it's free probably a million times, quite wow. a bit. Quite impressive. And it's, it's about some of the important things to remember when you're just starting out as a trader. Okay. Uh, today at Forex Day, you are presenting your new trading system, Trifecta. Right. Tell us a little bit about it. Run us through it, please. So the Trifecta methodology is, it's not the only method, it's not the only and best method in the world, mm -hmm. but it's a simplified version to keep my charts clean that's a, completely based on the premise that price generally returns to pivot points. Okay. And that's not a revolutionary theory. Mm -hmm. And I simply have a, a basic three-part system for trading back to mm -hmm. and away from pivot points. Okay. You tell me trifecta, as, it, right. then it, as the trading system is called, has three main elements. Right. One is pivot points. So the first is the, is the existence of an unhit or a missed pivot. So let's say that you're watching the, the market on your 15 minute or your mm -hmm. one hour charts. Amazon or a stock or a futures contract or forex. Okay. And the day is over mm -hmm. and it has not touched or hit its mm -hmm. daily pivot. All right. We call that a missed pivot. Mm -hmm. That's the first step of trifecta. Okay. And the premise is that price will attempt to return to that level. It might not make it all the way there, mm -hmm. but it's going to make an attempt to get back. So step two is to look for divergence. And traders are very familiar with the basic mm -hmm. concept of divergence. That mm -hmm. There's a disagreement between price and an indicator. Price mm -hmm. is falling, an indicator is rising. Right. Or price is rising and an indicator is falling. Mm -hmm. Step two is to say, when I see divergence, pointing or suggesting that the market is going to return in the direction of that missed pivot, okay. I then do step three, which is? which is to draw either a horizontal level of support or resistance or a trend line, mm -hmm. and once that level of support or resistance is broken, then I take the trade. Okay. There's nothing special about it, nothing amazing, but there are about 2,000 traders around the world now that trade this together with me, mm -hmm. and we sort of collaborate online in a massive discussion. Very interesting. And okay. it's been... It has easily been the most consistently successful and systematic way of trading that I've ever done. All right. I've heard somebody say that your system has a probability of success of between 70% and 80%. Is yeah. That, this is correct? It depends on the financial market that we're watching. Mm -hmm. If we're looking at something like the Canadian dollar, which I think is ridiculous and goes all over the place, it might have a win percentage of something like 60 or 65. Okay, quite good. A financial instrument like the British pound against the New Zealand dollar might have something as high as 75. Mm -hmm. And a stock, technology stocks like Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, mm -hmm. uh, Groupon, these American technology stocks, yes a really consistent and higher win percentage in the 80 to 85 percent range. So that set of rules mm -hmm. for trading back to those pivots mm. can be a very consistent way to trade. Okay. This trading system, does it need to be tweaked or fine-tuned every now and again? That's a good question. I've, I've been trading with pivots for about seven years. Mm -hmm. And one way or the other, I've been doing this, but not as systematic and not as rule-based or principle-based. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that over time, I will have to adjust the profit target, for example. Okay. But the market will show that it makes it 50% of the way to a pivot, mm -hmm. or 25% of the way to the pivot, mm -hmm. or three quarters of the way to the pivot, or all the way in a really volatile market. If there's anything that I'll have to adjust, it's the level of the stop loss or the level of the profit target okay. as markets adjust. In a, in a less volatile market, this is what you were telling me that the system is discretionary. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we're all. Do yeah. Right. So we're not actually trading this with a computer. Okay. Also, you were telling me before the interview that it's very important for 
traders when they're starting out to build their own confidence. Right. How to do this. So one of the premises of Forex Strategy 10 is that when we're first starting out in trading, and I remember this myself, mm -hmm. we're taught to cut our losses quickly mm -hmm. and let our profits run. Always. But that's so, it's so difficult to cut a loss, cut a mm -hmm. loss, cut a loss, mm -hmm. and have like multiple losses in a row yes. and large profit targets and not get there. And you're like, wait a minute, like, this is not enjoyable, mm -hmm. it's not profitable, I'm not making any money. So the premise of strategy 10 was to say, and this goes against all of the traditional advice, mm -hmm. take a lot of small winners early. If okay. When you're just beginning, because you build your confidence, mm -hmm. and you can have some wins, and that teaches us that trading, this is, this is blasphemy, okay. trading doesn't have to be as difficult. Mm -hmm. And that as we build our confidence, we'll gradually increase the size of our wins. We'll gradually stretch the profit target out mm -hmm. further, stretch it out a little bit further. And our win percentage will go down, mm -hmm. our account value will go up, our average win will go up, our ability to sustain periods of losses will go up. Mm -hmm. But at the very beginning, it's important just to build confidence, okay. just to get a feel for the market and not feel like not feel like we have to obey somebody else's rule that they taught about the market. All right, fantastic. Also, or rather, however, you're not completely unorthodox. You yeah. don't like trading too frequently. Right. And you do prefer small lot sizes. Yes. Yeah, so I like, I like smaller lot sizes. I, I trade probably four or five times a week. Mm -hmm. Not an active short-term okay. trader. Not at all. And I like a lot of leverage, though. Mm -hmm. So that's the, right. those things are kind of weird together. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that ultra-frequent short-term trading can be a disaster. I think that can, uh, we get, convinced that we get immediate gratification yes and that every day we should have a trade and I don't believe that there is a trade necessarily every day mm -hmm. okay also your trading system is it apt for <clears throat> traders who are starting out of all skill levels or is it only for more sophisticated individuals now, the thing about trifecta is there's nothing there's nothing proprietary secret super advanced complicated about it so the this sounds like a commercial, but it's not. I mean, for people who are just starting out, it's easy to follow. This is not a commercial. This is not a commercial. <laughs> but for people that have been around a long time, it's a breath of fresh air because it's simple. Not all this business on the charts. I don't care about the news. Uh -huh. I don't care about the ECB. You don't, don't care about the news at all, whatsoever. I, the news will help me or hurt me, but I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't care about the ECB. I don't care about the non-farm payroll report. That to me is a distraction. Mm. A trifecta trade will be open, and the news will either help it or hurt it. And I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the news will be, so I just leave it open. Right. I so pivot points, it. and that's that. Yeah, pivot points, divergence, and trend lines. Okay. I want to download trifecta. How do I go about it? So you could uh, you could go to a website like uh, robbooker.com mm -hmm. or. You could just Google trifecta trading system, probably. Mm -hmm. And there's a website dedicated to just lessons about it. And okay. So people go on the website, they learn about the course, and then they, d they have a conversation with thousands of traders around mm -hmm. the world that are taking all these trades. And they're so nice. They like, some of these men and women post charts every morning. Oh wow. And that I'll tell you great. what, actually, I go on that forum mm -hmm. for when I manage money, yes. I get my trade ideas from, this, from the other course, people. It's a community. Yeah, it's a community. Fantastic. I'm not even the best trifecta trader. So. Mm -hmm. Great, uh, Rob Booker. Independent FX trader yep. and author. Thank you very much for your time, and we hope that you will join us again next year. Thanks for having me. Thank you.